Welcome to the first public hearing on the 2025 budget. And we're going to start at this time uh, with a roll call by our very good county clerk. Go right ahead. Commissioner Barnett. Here. Commissioner Baxter. Here. Commissioner Bernard. Here. Vice Mayor Marino. Here. Mayor Sachs. Here. Commissioner Weiss. Here. Commissioner Woodward. Here. Thank you. We have a quorum. I'm going to ask Commissioner Bernard, who soon be leaving us, so we want to pray as much as we can. Right, Commissioner Bernard, to do the prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. Please stand if you're able to. Father, help us to be sensitive to what is happening to those around us. Make us aware of the concerns of others and guide us through the decision process that is before us today. Give us the strength and courage to do what is best for all those who come before us. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. okay. Let the record reflect today is September 10th, 2024. It's our first public hearing uh, for, uh, for the budget. So I'm going to... I'd like to ask one of the members of the board for a motion to adopt the agenda. I will make a motion to adopt the agenda. Second. Okay, you got that? All those four, anybody opposed? See that it passes unanimously, seven to zero. And I'm gonna ask a member of the board to receive and file proof of publication. I will move. So moved by Commissioner Wise, seconded by uh, Vice Mayor Marino. All those four, anybody opposed? See that it passes unanimously, seven to zero. Under trim, we are first required to read into the record the percentage increase in millage over rolled back rate and specific purposes for ad valorem tax increases. This time, I'm gonna turn the meeting over to our county administrator, Ms. Baker. Thank you, Mayor, Vice Mayor, members of the board. Uh, in accordance with Truth and Millage Bill, the Board of County Commissioners shall hold hearings on the tentative budget and proposed millage rates. As stipulated in the trim bill, the first substantive issue to discuss shall be the percentage increase in the millage over the rollback rate necessary to fund the budget, if any, and the specific purpose for which ad valorem tax revenues are being increased. Palm Beach County countywide proposed millage rate of 4.5000 is 8.07% over the rollback rate. This requires a supermajority vote. Palm Beach County Library District proposed millage rate of 0.5491 is 8.15% over rollback. This requires a supermajority vote. Palm Beach County Fire Rescue MSTU proposed millage rate of 3.4581 is 8.11% over the rollback rate. This requires a supermajority vote. Palm Beach County Jupiter Fire, Rest Fire MSTU proposed millage rate of 1.6488 is 0.14% below the rollback rate. Palm Beach County Aggregate proposed millage rate of 6.2826 is 6.34% over the rollback rate. Palm Beach County Countywide Voted Debt Millage Rate is 0.0396, I'm sorry, millage rate is 0.0396. Palm Beach County Library Voted Debt Millage Rate is 0.0098. Some of the uh, reasons for increase over the rollback uh, revenue, uh, starting countywide, the sheriff net tax increase, 70.1 uh, million, increase in other constitutional officers, including judicial, 4.1 million, increase in BCC operations net revenues, 53.1 million, Increase in non-departmental operations, 8.6 million. Increase in reserves, 50 million. 
increase in major revenues offset by decrease in gas tax, 6.9 million, increase in capital projects, 39.4 million, decrease in debt service, 53,000, increase in other funding sources, 46.8 million, increase in beginning balance brought forward, 60.5 million. Additional taxes from new construction at rollback rate, CRA rollback adjustment, and tax loss from revaluations by the Value Adjustment Board, uh, 18 million, for a total of 106,819,959 dollars. The county library, uh, increases in library operations net of revenues, 3.7 million, Decrease in reserves, 296,000. Increase for transfer to library improvement slash expansion fund, 11.5 million. Increase in the beginning balance brought forward, 6.9 million. Additional taxes from new construction at rollback rate and tax loss from revaluations by the Value Adjustment Board, 1 million. For a total uh, increase of six million nine hundred forty seven thousand three hundred and seven dollars fire rescue mstu increase in fire rescue operations net of revenues fifty two point seven million increase for transfer to capital projects fund twenty three million increase in reserves twelve point seven million increase in, be in beginning balance brought forward fifty point two million uh, additional taxes from new construction at rollback rate, CRA rollback adjustment, and tax loss from revaluations by the Value Adjustment Board, $4.7 million, for a total increase of $33,487,361. Fire Jupiter Fire, Res Jupiter Fire MSTU, increase in fire rescue operations net of revenues, 103,000. Additional taxes from new construction at rollback rate and tax loss from revaluations by the Value Adjustment Board, 143,000 for a decrease of $39,730. On pages six and seven, uh, which contains the budget briefing and highlights that includes proposed transfers and amendments to the fiscal year 2025 tentative budget. Page eight also reflects uh, and contains really a summary of the proposed transfers and amendments. The transfers and amendments do not result in property tax increases. Very good, thank you, Ms. Baker. Now the next order of business is to accept public comments on the total countywide funds budget, dependent district budgets, and proposed budget amendments. We're going to move now to public comments. Commissioner Weiss, you'll read the cards, and uh, Vice Mayor Marino will operate the technology, advanced technology. Very good. Okay, Commissioner Weiss. All right. Uh, we'll start with Anne Marie Gallagher Ashby, followed by Eva Asner Marachez, followed by Real Romulus and Grassford Smith. Very good. As you hear your name, come forward and uh, identify yourself. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. I didn't that's know take I was your time. So soon. Thank you. That's okay. <laughs> okay. You got plenty Hi. of time. Hi. Good morning. Good uh, yes, my, my name is Anne Ashby. Anne Marie Gallagher Ashby. Uh -huh. Okay. And I am, I, I live in West Palm Beach. I am a former uh, uh, preschool, kindergarten, and after school teacher. And, uh, well, at any rate, I'm originally from New Jersey, and now we're here in Florida. It seems to be everybody here that I speak to. Uh, now, uh, well, uh, from a town, uh, I'm from a town uh, where the uh, library was originally located on the back end of three floors. Uh, where small space was provided in town hall and eventually allotted and relocated adjacent to the middle school to a two-acre campus. All right, now our, our town quickly learned uh, the value of an expanded full-service community library, uh, fully equipped to the dedication of the children of the community with a strong emphasis on an after-school homework program. And um, I have witnessed firsthand the use of a library as a quasi-community outreach center. 
Well, well, when these children, aged 3 through 17, eventually became adults, they not only held fond memories of their local library, they also worked at insurance, ensuring its continuance. So within the next five years, there will be uh, groups calling for a decrease in funding with an eye toward eventual dissolution. I mean, if libraries are kept predominantly information centers, this will eventually occur. And uh, adult outreach programs are all right, however, present bent on children will ensure future strength in funding. So when we, have a, a, so when we think about libraries and what we're doing in the future, all right, I think um, Right now, like as as soon as possible, or if not uh, within the, you know within a reasonable amount of time, uh, perhaps uh, increase our libraries to help children. An after school uh, program, uh, educational program, and, and homework program would be a good idea. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate your opinion. Eva. Good afternoon, Good Eva evening. Asner, um, Ocean Ridge, 14, uh, 13 Hudson Avenue. I have a question and actually uh, interested to hear about the rollback mill rates. Do they ever happen? What would need to happen for this to occur? So that's my first question. The second comment I wanted to make is that um, I used to live in towns and um, areas where the government actually found some very interesting ways to support their budget without constantly increasing the taxes, property taxes. So uh, I was just wondering if there is a way to perhaps find different ways. That's, that's the second question. And um, comment on my little small town where the rates, the mill rates increase, where around our town there are others where they actually were able to roll back the mill rate. So hence, is it possible? Yes, it is. How do we make it happen? Just leaving you with that question. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Will Romulus? Hey, um, good evening, uh, good commissioners, evening. Uh, Mayor Sachs. Um, I w I'm basically here to uh, thank every each one of you guys uh, for the Let's Move 365 um, that's being approved in the budget. Uh, wanted to personally thank you, uh, Commissioner Mac Bernard, for championing this uh, initiative and um, making sure that everybody's on board with that. This initiative is very crucial, um, getting our residents, getting our kids, uh, everyone uh, at our age to be physically active is very, very crucial. And, uh, and it speaks loud that uh, it starts with, it, with you guys, you know, in that sense. So you guys set the bar really high, and the goal is to get our residents to be up and moving, get them off the couch, and so on and so forth. So uh, the Let's Move 365, um, it's a really, really cool initiative. Uh, what it is, is basically getting our residents to um, do any type of physical activities and um, take control of their health. So I wanted to um, you know, come here and personally thank every each one of you guys. So we can't wait to uh, kick this campaign off and uh, it's gonna be year round, so we're super excited about it. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for that. Uh, Grassford Smith. Mr. Smith, are you here? Any other cards? Uh, that's the only card we have. I heard a door open. Is anybody coming in? No. Okay. Okay. Any other cards, Commissioner? No, ma'am. Right. Very good. I'm going to return to the board now for discussion on countywide funds and the proposed countywide millage rate. So I look to my colleagues if anybody has any comments. Uh, Vice Mayor Marino. Need a microphone. Um, the only thing I want to actually say or comment um, is that the um, Legislative Budget Commission on Friday, they adopted their long range outlook for state finances, and it's not all that pretty. 
So uh, I just want to make sure that our county is prepared in the future. Um, I know we talk about cutting the millage rate. A question was asked about the rollback rate. Uh, we can't do anything about the city's millage rates. That You go and talk to the city government about that. Um, but I think the, the county staying at the 4.5, and if we can base our budget outlook for the next several years on something very close to 4.5, it helps businesses and residents do their own budgeting. They'll know what to expect. As for the taxes going up, again, Dorothy, sorry, I'm going to say this. You hate when I say this, but um, the millage rate is not going up. If the value of your home goes up a little bit, then what you may pay in taxes will go up. But it's not because the millage rate went up. It's because the value of your home went up. And then the, the response to that is, well, if you're collecting more um, revenue, ad valorem revenue, then that should be able to offset your budget. However, when you consider that increases in our budget are more than 3%, which is what the max is on a homesteaded property, you know, some of the things that we have to pay are up 6%, are up 10%, are up 50%. So we are doing the best we can with the budget we have. Um, I would say to the board, I think 4.5 for this, for this coming year is good. I'd like to see maybe um, us think about having a you know, three, five year solution um, because in two years, it's, we're looking like our state budget is gonna be a deficit budget and not a uh, not where it is today with a surplus. So that was actually more of a comment than anything else, but I just wanted to share. Thank you. Hi, we're open to comments. Commissioner Baxter, you're recognized. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I tend to have another outlook on this. Prices have gone up for us as a county very clearly, but also for our residents who Prices have gone up at the gas pump. They've gone up at the grocery store. They have gone up for homeowner's insurance. They have gone up everywhere. So every little bit, I think, seems to help. So I don't think we should make any drastic changes to the millage. But even if we could give a half, whether we end up at 4.45, something that shows, I mean, we've had property increases. We've gotten, we're going to get over $200 million from the tax collector who, through great investments, was able to, uh, not the tax collector, excuse me, the clerk of the courts was able to get us over 200 million. I think we should give our residents whatever breaks we can and maybe if there's some areas where we can cut back, that might be a possibility, but we really should be taking consideration that there are people um, who need some relief. Thank you so much, Commissioner Baxter. Uh, any other commissioners? Okay. Uh, I just wanna say uh, on a comment, that the cost of living has gone up. It's gone up all over the country. And it's certainly gone up here in Palm Beach County. There are some things the county government has control of. One thing we don't have control on is property insurance or any type of insurance. We also don't have control over a lot of areas that is set by state or federal legislation. What we have done in this budget proposal is to keep the millage rate constant. I don't think there's any family here in Palm Beach County that can say the same as to being constant with their cost of living. Everything's gone up. So we will try our best as stewards of the taxpayer's money to be sure that we provide services uh, that are, is, are, are under our authority, services, but to keep the cost of all of that uh, with a millage rate that stays the same. So I look forward to, um, to, to managing this budget and, to ba and making sure our services are never cut and, and that they remain the same, even though the cost of providing services has gone up, but that our millage rate stays the same. So um, with that, Commissioner Baxter, do you, would you like to just comment? Go right ahead. I just wanted to kind of point out that even if we keep our millage rate the same, their costs are still going up because all property values, market values, they have also gone up. So just because we're keeping the millage rate the same, 
they're still paying more in taxes is I guess what I was going to kind of point out. As a wise man said, when my income taxes go up, it means I'm making more money. I don't have control over, over property values. That's part of living in this beautiful paradise of Palm Beach. We do have control over the millage. It's staying the same. It's not going up. And property values are going up. Everything's going up. It shows that the values of our property here uh, is consistent with the services that your government gives. So I'm very pleased with that. And I hope one day, uh, Commissioner Baxter, that uh, we can look around and the cost of living has gone down and the cost of providing services to our people uh, has gone down and, and we will definitely uh, lower it. Uh, right now I'm really proud that uh, it's staying the same as it was the year before. Are there any other comments by members of the board? Very good. I'd like to entertain a motion to approve certain budget transfers and amendments. Yes, sir. Commissioner Bernard, you're recognized. I'd like to make a motion to approve certain budget transfers and amendments for those countywide funds as more specifically set forth on pages 9 through 14 of the September 10th, 2024 public hearing budget document. Such transfers and amendments totaling 118,000 118,141,547 dollars. Second. You got that. Very good. All those four. Anybody opposed? See that it passes unanimously, seven to zero. I'd like to uh, also entertain a motion to adopt Palm Beach County's countywide tentative millage of 4.5000. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, Commissioner uh, Barnett. Do I have a second? Can so I you ask need us to read that into full. the record? He's got to read it in full. Yeah. Can you read it into the record? If I may, Mayor. You go right ahead, sir. Thank you. I'd like to make a motion to adopt Palm Beach County countywide tentative millage of 4.5000, which is 8.07% over the rolled back rate of 4.1641 and the countywide voted debt millage rate of 0 0.0396. Very good. And I have a second on that. Uh, I have a second? I'm looking at the, at the clerk. Yes? May we please have the second stated for the record? Okay. Do I have a second? As Vice Mayor Marino is the second. All those for, anybody opposed? I'm opposed. See that it passes six to zero. Six, one. six to one. I never was good in arithmetic. <laughs> All right, now let's go on. Uh, if I could have a motion uh, to ad adopt Palm Beach County's tentative budgets. I'll make the motion. Motion to adopt Palm Beach County countywide tentative budgets of seven million six hundred forty-two seven billion. Seven billion, excuse me. Okay. Seven billion six hundred and forty-two million two hundred and sixty-seven thousand one hundred and fifty-six. Okay. Second. I have a second by Commissioner Weiss. All those four. Anybody opposed? See that it passes unanimously seven to zero. Now let's return to the board for discussion on the library district. Uh, can I have a motion to adopt Palm Beach County's library district tentative millage? And Mayor, I'll make the motion to adopt Palm Beach County library district tentative millage of 0.5491, which is 8.15% over the rollback rate of 0 0.5077, and the Palm Beach County Library District voted debt millage rate of 0 0.0098. Very good, and I have a second from? Second. I'll second it. Okay, from uh, Commissioner Weiss, all those four. Anybody opposed, see that it passes unanimously seven to zero. Um, a motion to adopt Palm Beach County's library district tentative budget. Mayor, I'll continue with that. Motion to adopt Palm Beach County library district tentative budgets of $235,950,000. Mm -hmm. It's impressive, isn't it? It's not <laughs> and I have a second. Commissioner <laughs> Woodward, all those four. Anybody opposed? See that it passes unanimously, seven to zero. Now I'd like to return to the board for discussion 
on the Municipal Service Taxing District, the MSTD. Uh, is there any commissioners who wish to give a comment, question this? Right, very good. I'd like to have a motion then to adopt Palm Beach County's tentative budget. Madam Mayor, I make a motion to adopt Palm Beach County MSTD tentative budget of $159,843,953. Very good. Thank you, Commissioner Bernard. And I have a second by Commissioner Woodward. All those four, anybody opposed? See that it passes unanimously seven to zero. Now I'd like to return to the board for discussion on the fire rescue MSTU. There are any comments? Commissioner Weiss, you're recognized. Yes, thank you, Mayor. I'd like to make a motion to adopt the Palm Beach County Fire Rescue MSTU tentative millage of 3.4581, which is 8.11% over the rolled back rate of 3.1986. Very good. Do I have a second, second by Commissioner Baxter? All those four, anybody opposed? See that it passes unanimously, seven to zero. I'll continue on, Mayor, and make a motion to adopt the Palm Beach County Fire Rescue MSTU tentative budget of $971,927,834. Very good, Commissioner Weiss. Commissioner Baxter seconds that. Second. All those for, anybody opposed? See that it passes unanimously seven to zero. I'm gonna return now to the board for discussion on the Jupiter Fire MSTU. Uh, any comments by the board? Okay, is there anybody who wishes to adopt that motion? Mayor, I'll make the motion to adopt Palm Beach County Jupiter Fire MSTU tentative millage of 1.6488, which is 0.14% below the rollback rate of 1.6511. Very good, and I have a second by Commissioner Bernard. All those four, anybody opposed? See that it passes unanimously seven to zero. Madam Mayor, I'll continue. I'll make the motion to adopt Palm Beach County Fire Rescue MSTU tentative budget of $28,292,125. And I have a second by Vice Mayor Marino. All those for, anybody opposed? See that it passes unanimously seven to zero. Now I'd like to return to the board for discussion on the MSTU Unincorporated Improvement Fund. Any comments or questions by the members of the board? See none. Do I have anybody to make a motion on this issue? Sure, I will make a motion to adopt Palm Beach County MSTU Unincorporated Improvement Fund budget of $16,717,640. Okay, good, and I have a second from Commissioner Woodward. All those for, anybody opposed? See that it passes unanimously seven to zero. Now I'd like to look at the adoption of the tentative ag aggregate millage rate. Any questions? or comments by the board. All right, I'm ready to entertain a motion. Uh, Commissioner Weiss, you're recognized. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to make a motion to adopt Palm Beach County tentative aggregate millage of 6.2826, which is 6.34% over the rolled back rate of 5.9083. Very good, and I have a second by Commissioner Baxter. All those for, anybody opposed, see that it passes unanimously seven to zero. And there's one more motion, which is the best motion of all for today. <laughs> Guess what that is? Motion to adjourn. <laughs> motion to adjourn. Second, right? I have Third. two motions, three motions <laughs> to adjourn, and I have seconds by everybody. Uh, <laughs> it is unanimous on the motion to adjourn. Thank you very much to staff that's worked so hard, those in the public who are here, and participate. We are adjourned, thank you. Thank you board for your support.